What's up WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee from Champions Chat and this is your breakdown for May Young Unbreakable. Uh, so May, who, you know, should be an Attitude Era striker because, you know, that's when she went through the table from the Dudley Boys, is a technician of the Legends Era that happens to be a very aggressive young woman. And it's gotta be May. So the Lynx, Legends Era, no gear, and the coaching ability, Pyro Gems do 100% more damage, Green Moves deal 40% more damage. She is... Part of the Voltron kit for Ilya Dragunov. So we're going to take a look at a few different move sets for her. But first, let me just say, I think they did a really good job on the face. Like, age that face up and she would look like Mae Young, as I remember her during the Attitude Era. Uh, as somebody has already pointed out, shout out to you on Facebook, the fact that she does not have a tag team link with Mark Henry is a miss. But... We're going to check her out and see how this A-tier superstar does. The first move set we're going to take a look at is the Pyro move set. That's kind of the focus this month. Scoop Slam, 6 MP yellow, deal damage, choose one row to make into Pyro Gems, which will modify all gems above it into green. Why do I feel like we need a new plate that is green pyro build based instead of uh, yellow or blue? This feels like another character that could use it. The slap, 6 MP, yellow move. Deal damage, increase your black MP by 10. And the 10 MP, but that's okay because the slap loads it. Rope, backbreaker, knee, black move. Finisher, deal a hefty amount of damage to get started there. And then uh, increase your green gem damage by 112% for one turn. Then deal a hefty amount of damage again and choose a 7x1 area to swap yellow gems. The Entourage, you'll notice one pretty rare trainer in there being CM Punk. But post 99 MP, you're going to need uh, Kofi here for yellow moves to start with 4. With the turn starting, that is uh, going to be 5, so you'd still need one more MP to get loaded. You could sub one of these, probably Becky if you don't have her, out for Santa Hogan. But if you have CM Punk, then yellow moves start with 2 more MP and green gems do 50% more damage. That's a big win for Mae Young. And if you've got that combination, you don't need Santa, so run green gem damage and Green gem damage. Ozzy's your go-to. What a man. What a mighty fine man. Now, on the strap, we're running our preview strap. 50% gem damage base with double fury 2. And this metal does have 35% bonus damage. And I'll show you with a, a plate or so here as we run it back. But I want you to see the base damage before we get too far. I think I mentioned that it's got to be May. It does not have gear. Uh, just like Tiffany Stratton the month before her, there will be some things, we don't know what yet, that does come out later that impacts how she runs. The A-tier character almost always has a plate, because they're like your old showdown character. Look at her, like, Betty Boop hairstyle there, and she looks very slight when you, uh, see her card, uh, poster art, but, uh, she is towering over Nikki Cross, like... Holy cow, she is way big there. And we also got Oz Ozzy's Cathedral in the background. Anyway, uh, we're going to choose one row uh, to make Pyro. Why would you not put it on the bottom? You always put it on the bottom. Then we would need this move right here to get our black MP going. So we'll hit it anyway there. You can see she's got uh, 20 million health. And then we're going to hit this move, which does a decent bit of damage. 8.5, or is that... Uh, no, it's 855,000. Increase our green gem damage by 112. So right now, green gems are doing 112. Ironic. And then we're going to hit that move. We're not going to be able to see it because it's going to force us right into... The, she is way too big. Her, She needs shrunk down. You need, a, you need a set down, lady. Wow. Now, no multi-gems or anything crazy going on top of them, so 12 million damage is what she does. She is giant. But 12 million is enough to put Nikki Cross away. 24 million at 
silver. They really need to shrink her. Uh, so let's look at that again with the pyro plate on there. That is the Piper's Power. Which, if you're doing this the month of release, it is available on the Indie Hartwell prize wall. I don't know how accessible it's going to be because we're still day one. It looks to be a pretty big stretch, but if there's a way to get it, it is definitely worth going for. It is a killer of a plate. Whenever you make four or more pyro gems, increase all of your gem damage by 100%. If you were one of the lucky ones to have the LA Knight plate, it wouldn't work because it's blue gem damage right there. Only doesn't have a bonus to all gems. So since she's not doing yellow, she's not making the most out of this plate, which is why I say I feel like they're going to release a plate that is make Pyro get green gem damage because that's like the missing ingredient for most of the characters this month. So... Yeah, uh, and then on here, we're making Pyro Gems, which really doesn't have a plate. You know, we might get something kind of like this Miz one coming up with her. We will see, uh, and don't be confused. The Pyro Princess plate has nothing to do with Pyro Gems. An unfortunate misnomer there. You could do something along these lines, like shock the system. Whenever you break through more green, turn your black into yellow. That's just a little bitty bit of bonus damage, but it's not really doing anything spectacular. And she's not making any other gem types, so things that do countdowns or power gems or subs, none of those are coming into play on this particular move set. So let's see it one more time with the Piper's Power Plate. I think they should change some of the names around because Piper's Power works off Pyro. Pyro Princess works off of blue and power in Piper's power doesn't do anything for power gems. Goodness. And giant Mae Young, who's the size of Andre in this game, uh, has smacked the ever loving holy cow out of Abby the Witch there. Let's see what additional damage we do. Um, 16 million, 17 actually. A little over 17 million. So you're in the, the 30 plus million, 35, 36 million range uh, with, you know, depending on how you hit. So it's not bad by any means. Um, very much in line with kind of where Tri Tiffany Stratton was before her tricks came out. And we're waiting for Mae Young's tricks to come out. So, you know, we'll power rate her once she has those tricks, but that's a base set. So. That's one move. Let's take a look at another. The next move set we're going to look at is what we'll call the silence or I'll make your eyes black. 6 MP black knee strike. Choose two gems to convert to two turn juggernaut gems that will make 20 random gems into silence. And then on the next countdown turn, make those 20 silence into black. The Bronco Buster, deal damage, choose 9 gems to make green. And then the Elbow Drop Finisher, 10 MP green move, deal damage, plus bonus damage for every silence gem. 6 MP moves, so you need Woods, plus your start turn, plus Santa Hogan. And then I would recommend uh, Mr. Rosie here for silence gems, plus 2 green. And then silence gems do 60%. So between the two of them, you got 160%. You could run black gem damage, but let's be honest, the 100% and the 60% is higher than what you can find on your black gem trainer and coaches at this exact moment. And everything's turning black. You would not want to run Goldberg or Seth to create another Juggernaut gem because they're creating 20 silence gems. So if you create one more, it would actually overwrite and the moveset would not work or go off as planned. On the strap, uh, I'm not going to show a different plate because the one that you're thinking of is the Uso cap and it buffs green gem damage. So you could put it on there just if you've got one sitting around. But really, you're only making nine green gems. If there were a version of their Uso cap where it was silenced to black gem damage, then we'd be talking. Uh, we're going to go on the road against Raquel because I already learned my lesson offline here. And... Uh, Abby the Witch interrupts when you have silence gems, so it kind of messed me up. It really did. Without 99 MP, you would need to uh, use these wonderful green gems to get the finisher loaded, but you're first going to want to drop the 
juggernaut gems. That is a cool move. And look at this. Raquel is a very tall human being, and she's still ginormous. I would normally put these over loot boxes, but one, there's none there. And two, when you make so many gems of a different type on the board, I like to keep these where I can see them just so I know where they are and they don't get broken and blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Uh, you're going to want to make the traditional five uh, match with a three on there as well. So you could do something like uh, like this. I'm going to get that one out of the way just in case. Create a three match there because we want this to go off. That's good. Uh, we want this to make the juggernaut gems and get our finisher loaded, which that's what that would do right there. Then we would take a swipe. We're going to break gems, silence gems, no matter what we do. So, uh, you know, you hit the finisher because then you don't touch the board. Now you got 366k bonus for every silence gem. Normally, especially at the gold meta, we'll have to see how this scales to gold. I don't like the per uh, damage per gem, but you've got 40 of them. So, you know, 366k times 40 is not bad. And then if they survive this, you would make all of the gems black on the next turn, which, you know, 16 million, she survived that fairly easily, but she didn't kick out. So then those would have gone off, would have made the board black, and we would have recycled everything from there. If you get pinned and that goes off, it definitely kicks you out of the pin, but it really screws up your whole moveset. So not bad. 16 million, you know, turns you into a 32 to 35 million hit when you're talking six gold. Not the best, but not terrible. Let's look at one more moveset. The last moveset we're going to take a look at, I'll call the Unbreakable. It's got to be May Young. Uh, this one has two variations. This is what you'll need to run post 99 MP and lesser until there is a trainer that comes out that matches the colors we're going to show. Uh, but for now, we'll show you this and then the variation. Chokehold, 8 MP green, generate 40 random sub gems, doing uh, a hefty amount of damage for a sub, right? Look at that damage there. Still not something we're going to focus on just yet. For three turns while subs are on the board, remaining submission gems turn into pyro green. They're back with those pyros. Lariat clothesline, deal damage, choose a 7x2 area to swap black is what you're going to need to load. Your rope backbreaker knee, 10 MP finisher, deal a decent amount of damage, and increase your green gem damage by 112% for one turn. Then, deal damage, choose a 7x1 area to swap yellow. So, you'll see the variation in a second, but uh, the slap, instead of the lariat clothesline, makes a whole lot of sense. You just can't quite get it loaded turn one very well. These are high high charge moves. So in order to get those high charge moves, you need somebody to buff your green. You can use George the Animal Steel. I just happened to find her first in the trainer list and it takes forever to find the right trainers. Uh, you could use one of two people, either Bailey for green moves that will damage, will do 100% more damage, and green moves start with two more MP, or uh, you could replace her and use your sub gem coach, which is Rhea Heavy Metal Ripley, uh, but notice the finisher is responding as if it were a green move, so that's kind of nice, right? Black finisher responding like a green move. Uh, anyways, yeah, so your other option would be, oh, I hit move charge instead of move damage, that's why I'm not getting there quickly enough. Do, 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 do. Where is she? Right here. Green submissions last two more turns and green moves start with two more. I just don't want that added turn because I want there to be as many pyro green on the board as possible. And for those who have rare characters, you could use Samu here for green moves start with two and green moves deal damage. But why would you do that when you've got Bailey? That's, uh, that's if you use them both. Your other super rare is green moves do 100% more, I'm sorry, green subs do 100% more damage and start with two more with Willy Regal. Otherwise, you want somebody who does green gem damage because you're going to make a whole bunch of those, and you're going to need Santa Hogan to complete the set because they're eight MP charges, so four plus turn is five, six, seven, eight. On the strap, 
plates, we have a couple of really nice options here. The All Heart, whenever you generate three or more sub gems, increase your green gem damage by 100% for two turns. And the Piper's Power Plate, whenever you make four or more pyro gems, increase all of your gem damage by 100%. Notice we're not doing yellow, so that 500% is not really there. All right, so we're going to go up against Raquel one more time because might as well just keep it the same as what we did the last round, just in case. We don't want her hitting us with anything. So we're going to sub her down to start. Do, 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 do. And hopefully she doesn't break a ton of them. Luckily, gems tend to go down towards the bottom when they fall, so you're set up to succeed. Now, green MP is loaded, but theoretically your black MP would not be. That's 10 MP charge. You would need to use this move to get you going. So we will not hit the finisher, which does your buff yet. So I'm going to show you what it would be like after 99 MP. Then if she survives, I'll show you the other route. But this will then break all of the board, all the gems above him green, which will break them again green, which will break them again, which reloads all of your stuff. That was 10 million. She's not going to kick out from that. But that's your basic setup, right? 10 million, not super spicy, but it's there, right? Let me show you that one more time as if we could hit the buff. So just, you know, pretend you hit the black uh, match. And then I will show you the variation, which I like a lot better. But as we talked about, after post, after post, those are two words that mean the same thing. After 99 MP is gone, you, you're going to have some struggles there, right? It's going to be a struggle bus. So before this, double check us. We got uh, 11, or I'm sorry, 112 K on our green gem damage. The sub is going to trigger not only the all heart, but also because they're pyro, it should trigger the Piper power plate as well. She is breaking a lot more of our gems this time around. I am not happy with that. So now your green gems are doing 146. Your pyro green gems are doing 146. That should be more. Uh, and so instead of hitting that one, let's just pretend that we got straight to this move so that we can buff our green gems by 112%. And then hit the finisher. You make a row yellow. You break as many gems above it as you possibly can. Then those break again. And then those break again. And then maybe some more. So 19 million, so that's 40 million at six gold. That's her best set. Uh, again, post 99 MP, going to be a little bit uh, less spicy because you're going to have to hit that big area move to get there. Now, let me show you the variation on this that I like a lot better, which uh, is kind of a variation, kind of a fourth move set. Shh, don't tell anybody. So the variation, as I mentioned, is the chokehold that we just saw, but then subbing in the slap instead, and then the rope backbreaker knee. So it basically functions like what I just showed you after 99 MP would be gone, where you get your 6 MP that loads your black, and you can do this all turn one, and then your rope backbreaker uh, is charged by the slap, and the slap is charged by the rope backbreaker, and then uh, we have just the ability to break one set of uh, or one row of gems with that seven by one that turns yellow, which then makes your greens reload. So it does reload perfectly well. The problem is, plus uh, or after the 99 MP era is gone. How do you get all three loaded, right? Uh, actually, all you need is the green and the yellow. The problem is the green is a 8 MP. So you need this, this, and this. And the other problem is uh, think about your double MP trainers right now. Roxanne is green and red. There's green. Uh, Carmelo is purple and black. There's black. And Braun is yellow and blue. There's yellow. So if in, say, November, they were to release another set of NXT-type superstars that did different 4MP colors, and one of them was green and yellow, now we're talking. Now we can do something with that, because then you replace, uh, you know, one of your 
guys here with that character, and then you have Santa Hogan, and now your green and your yellow start loaded turn one. So this is an imaginary scenario where a green and yellow double four MP coach or trainer, sorry, exists, but it functionally is what we just saw. So we don't need to run it back. It's 40 million damage. Uh, you just don't have to worry about the, the chicanery of trying to use the green move to break a seven by two area into black to get you started. And then you can continue to do it from there. So you hit 10 million one turn and then you go and hit 40 million after that. This just gets you going right off rip and it flawlessly reloads itself after that. Problem is, after 99, you're going to have to wait until there is a yellow and green trainer to make it work. But in the 99 MP era, this is by far her best moveset. And so this is what I would recommend that you run in the 99 MP era. Uh, once 99 MP is up, you probably should run the first moveset because the silence build is okay okay at best. So let's talk about Mae Young. Where does she fit on your roster? Where are you going to use her? Well, uh, you're probably like me and don't have Bodacious Becky, who is the other Legends Era female who is a technician. So she does fill a slot there. Uh, it's very possible that you have maybe only Heavy Metal Rhea and... Um, What's the original one? Uh, Rick, Wendy Richter. You, maybe you just have those two Legends Era females, and so this fills in a slot for you there as well. So one way or another, having a an accessible uh, grind to get A-tier Legends Era female character in the game is great. She is a little bit more useful or equal to uh, as Tiffy time. So if you liked Tiffy and your results were good with her, this will be about the same. She's about 40 million on the top end uh, to, when you're talking about six star gold damage. So she's not going to be a world changer for your roster, uh, but she does fit in quite nicely. Tech females overall, I mean, Charlotte is the queen huh, of tech females. Uh, and then it kind of goes to Nikita Lyons and then, you know, on down from there. She's probably as good as or better than Bodacious Becky. So there's that. But anyway, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to hold that sneeze until we uh, ended the video. It just didn't happen that way. Forgive me, but at least I muted it. Anyway, uh, so that's your breakdown for May Young, Miss May Young, Unbreakable. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Like the video, subscribe to Champions Chat, and then send this to your friend or faction mate who is going, hey, I just got that A-tier goodness of that Legends Era Technician female. How do I run her? Here's some options for you. Check out the three-minute move set for a quicker version. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.